Hey folks, Spray Benzes here and today I've got something real simple, however a nasty problem that is a hard miss. The engine rattles, rolls, doesn't develop full power, hesitates, shaking like crazy and it does this all of a sudden. Well, don't over assume things. Sometimes it's the simplest stuff. So have a good troubleshooting sequence. Uh, if especially if you just are new to the vehicle and you're you're trying to figure out like what might be wrong with it don't go to the complicated stuff like the fuel injection and the um uh, the idle mixture all these other things <clears throat> step number one is always is my ignition working and uh here is a fairly simple uh, trick how to figure out if there is even an um, issue with it. It's not quite, uh, you, you, you do need to pay attention to what you're doing because you don't want to get zapped. Because I usually typically do this uh, with the engine running. But um, I give you a couple of tips. Hey, like the channel, give it uh, forwarded to folks who might be enjoying uh, old Benz cars, 126s, 124s, even R129s and the R107s, uh, uh, 123s even had some of the uh, the earlier K uh, Jetronic um, and uh, even the fuel injection system, so they have sometimes similar issues. But uh, anyway, here we go. So. The trick is trying to figure out if an engine is misfiring and a cylinder is misfiring. And the simplest thing is to have the engine running. You take special pliers. They need to be insulated very well. Again, this is not for the faint of heart. And you pull the boot off one spark plug at a time. And as you do that, the engine, if the cylinder is misfiring, you will not notice the RPM dropping or it shaking more and at the same time with the ignition if the ignition is the problem if you hold the end off the tip of the 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 plug uh, here uh, close to the uh, uh, engine you will see the spark um jumping over which also proves that the darn thing is actually providing a good solid spark once you are done testing a engine cylinder Voila, you put it back and you don't do this for long, just as long as it takes to troubleshoot. But at least you know that it might actually be something about the spark plug and nothing else. Here is it with the engine running. Runs very smooth. You take one off. Then all of a sudden the opium drops and it, it, you can see that it vibrates more. And here you can actually see the spark, but you won't be able to see it, but I see you jump over in the engine compartment. So. Once back, you put the plug back, and then you, you either have a different issue or it's most likely the spark plug. Here are the spark plugs, they have about 10,000 miles on them, which shouldn't be, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I cleaned out, uh, I cleaned up the this one and this one. They were fouled up. They appeared to be the worst, and so I thought. You can see there are quite a few deposits on this one. This it's okay, not great. They should really be nice, like not whitish colored. They don't. They shouldn't look burned or super hot. Um, but that brownish coloration there is actually from uh, um, oil burning and on the front cylinders again there's some oil there a little more on this one and ironically enough the um, five six seven eight cylinders were the worst on this one anyway and Lo and behold, this one was the, tr the real troublemaker. I'm not, hold on, let's see if you, I can zoom in. It's 
See that? There's oil. There was so much junk that it finally bridged the electrodes. What's the problem? It's burning too much oil. This one is about maxed out. It is about a quarter and a half of per thousand miles. That's not good. So most likely, since I have good compression, most likely it's the valve guide seals, which is pretty normal at, uh, for this age. That might be uh, something I put up on the on the channel soon, how to fix that. But nevertheless, this was the problem. I put in uh, new plugs and the darn thing idles like a charm as you just heard in a moment, a moment ago. Again, don't over assume things. Go for the simple, simple stuff. Here was a cheap spark plug uh, change in the, the engine runs like a charm. You don't need to do anything other than um, change the plugs and um, go for it. And then eventually do something about whatever the root cause of the excessive oil consumption is. Another thing that uh, at, uh, exacerbates the issue is if you have a garage queen, if you idle a lot, and at, at idle you have, as you may know, the maximum amount of vacuum on the, uh, few, uh, the, the inlet manifold which means it really sucks very hard on those valve guide seals and puts that extra amount of oil into it. And that is when it, the engine runs really slow. And that is when you have the spark plugs fall up much quicker as opposed to running and running and running. Uh, but still, the problem of too much oil consumption while running, eventually your spark plugs are going to look like the ones that I just showed you in the video. Give me a like. Until next time.